Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. I'm your host, Mark Spencer. With me today is Steve Martin. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. And uh, we've got some cool stuff to talk about, right? Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. 10.0.3 so, stuff. 10.0.3. So new update from for Final Cut Pro 10. Yes. Uh, as of uh, shortly, a week ago, two weeks ago, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Ton of new stuff, right? Amazing new stuff. Features yeah. galore. So a lot of big things like multicam, like that is getting a lot of attention. But there's a lot of other stuff in there, right? You've been digging under the hood. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I've been really doing a lot of digging, a lot of uh, exploring, and I'm just amazed at uh, what Apple has put into this this so-called incremental update. So what do you want to show us today? I know you've well, got something specific going on <laughs> exactly. here. Exactly. I want to talk about relinking media. Um, relinking media is, is essential if you're working in a nonlinear editor because clips go offline. And you get the dreaded... Red clip. Where'd my where'd my media go? Right, and in Final Cut Ten, you, there's no. You really can't. Re, it's either there or it's not. Right. Well, it just goes. It goes away, and it's, you're, it's it's over. Well, not yes. I mean, t- in version ten, there was no way to to directly relink to media. The media was either in the vent library, and Final Cut Pro Ten recognized it, or it didn't. So, like, if you had disconnected a drive, everything would be red. And if you connected the drive, hopefully it would all show up. Well, yeah, and in, in, in most cases it did, but right. uh, the times that it didn't, and, and, and specifically those times would be, well, I've replaced that media file on the hard drive with this exact named uh, media file, but the, the metadata for the database wouldn't match up, and then right. it wouldn't it would right. link. You're like, right. why, why I mean, doesn't it link? It's the same, maybe it's a different file, but it may, I named it the exact same thing. Why wouldn't it link up? It wouldn't. All right, so but there's a reason for there that. There is, and okay. I want to talk a little bit about that. Without getting into too gobbledygooky, okay. um, we need to kind of understand the fundamental t- uh, end underpinnings of the app. Now, Final Cut 10 is a database driven app. It's, right. it's not like Final Cut Pro 7, where you had a clip in the project window, and that clip would point to an actual piece of media. It was like uh, an alias. It was an it's alias, a, okay. exactly, a right. pointer. Uh, what you need to understand in Final Cut Pro 10 is that clips in the event browser, what we call event clips, they're actually mm-hmm. little mini databases. In other words, they contain instruction sets about the clip. Okay. And some of those things, the instruction sets would be the name of the clip, where it lives, and like playback instructions. Like for example, here frame I frame rate and resolution and all that kind of tons stuff. Of stuff. So tons Hundreds, of information yeah. about the clip. Not it's, just like it's over here. Right. It's uh-huh. the metadata that describes a clip. Remember okay. you have the metadata that describes a clip and then the clip itself. clip itself. Okay. So like for example, if I make a selection here and I'm right. sending in an out point, that just got stored in the database of the clip. Okay. So any changes get stored in the database. So, yes. So essentially what happens when a clip becomes offline is the clip, the source media that the database is referencing is now orphaned. In other words, the, the instruction set has no clip to refer to anymore. Right. It's looking for it. It doesn't see it in, in where the database says it should be exactly. in that event. Exactly. And you brought okay. up a really good point. Where should that clip be? Well, Final Cut Pro 10 made it easy because all the clips are in the same place now. They're yeah. in the event library. Um, of either the clip or a, a symbolic a link to the clip. Right? Yeah, well, so, yeah, we'll, we'll cover I'm sorry, that in a second. I'm, I'm making it confusing. <laughs> <laughs> but here, here's a clip called Hammerheads, right? Okay. If I control click on this and yes. I, sh- I say reveal in Finder, it'll actually show me that that clip exists in the uh, the event called the planet. Okay. Can in you just back up a little bit yeah. so we can see that it says event? Yeah. Okay, Final Cut Events. Event, planet, the planet, yep. original media. That's the original file. Got okay, it. Okay, now. Yeah. Back in Final Cut, this is the database, right? This is called an event clip. Yes. And that's essentially the database. And all the information or instructions about that clip, that clip still needs to be there for that that instruction set to reference. Right. Okay? Now, sometimes that clip becomes, well, or uh, the clip just goes offline. Well, let's talk about the situations where it might. Where it might happen. Okay. So let's do that right now. Let's create that scenario. So I'm going to, um, again, reveal in Finder. And uh, I'm going to just select some clips. I'm going to select this hammerhead clip this jellyfish clip, and this underwater clip. And I'm going to just command delete and just force them. Just, oops. So you just threw them in the trash. I just threw them in the trash. Okay. All okay. right? Now. And follow- the same thing would happen if you just moved them somewhere else. If right? I moved them okay. or even renamed them. Or even okay. renamed them. Even it's renamed the same them. thing as throwing them away, essentially, as far as Final Cut Pro 10 is concerned. Correct. Now, okay. Final Cut Pro 10 expects yes. those clips to be in that, in that folder, in that event yes. folder. Okay. Yes. So when we go back... There we go. We get Boom. the dreaded, oh my gosh. Yeah. Where's, where's what my do clips? I do? It's a big exclamation point. Like, do something. But what can I do? There's nothing I yeah, can do. Yeah, you, you even, but now there is something. You're even being yelled yeah. at. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so the thing is, and your boss is yelling at you, and you've, you'll never work in this time. Okay, but so you have these clips that are offline, and it's there's essentially two ways to relink. We're going to look at two scenarios. Okay. This, the first scenario is we want to relink the media in the event 
library. And then secondly, we learn, learn now about relinking the media in the actual project. In the project. Okay, okay, right. Now, what you need to understand is the clips in the project, these all reference event clips. Remember when you set up a project, you have to give it an event reference. Yes, yeah, so always. It, it, it's kind of a parent-child relationship that Correct. every clip in, the, in a project is referencing the clip in the event Absolutely. Uh, library. Okay. Right. So what I'm going to do here is I, I'm going to um, I'm going to select these clips here. In, th in this case, I'm going to select the offline clips. I'm just command clicking. Okay. And then go to the file menu, and I'm going to choose relink event files. Event files, okay, now, specifically. Yes. Now, this will tell you, this is what the database expects the clip name to and, be. And by the way, that menu item you just chose, that's the new feature in 10.0.3. Correct. This is a new yes. interface, the okay. relink files window. Right. Yeah, I'm glad you popped pop okay. that because that that's new. Yeah. Now, there's two choices, missing and all. If the clips are missing, uh, you'll you'll see that, well, they're missing. But it some, just lists them, I right, see. But sometimes you want to relink to clips that aren't offline, and we'll talk about that in, in a little bit here. Okay. Um, but we're just going to assume they're missing and we want to relink to them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Down here, you have a locate button. Okay, so we're going to find that one one of those clips. You don't even have to find all of them. You just have to find one in the in the directory. That if they're, they're all in the same place. Right. Okay. So I'm going to click locate all. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm looking for those clips. So little re reenactors event. I know I just happen to know where. So even though you deleted them from the event, you ha you have another copy of those clips somewhere else. I, I do. I, I, I do. Okay. In fact, here there's a, a, okay. a completely different place where they live. So I said we we're looking for. I think it was the hammerhead clip. Yep. So there it is. And no, in fact, look down here. It says this is what it's looking for: the hammerhead ProRes clip. Yes. Three of three found. So it already found knows. Them so all. Found them all. Found them all. Found them all. Great. So all we need to do is click choose. And they show up down here in this panel down here. The original file names and the match file names. Yep. Right? Yep. And it's great. So yep. far, so and, good. And everything, everything matches. Everything which matches. doesn't necessarily have to, but... Doesn't does. have to match. Okay. But right now, they do match. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to relink them. I'll talk, I'll talk about this checkbox in a moment, this copy into copy events file. Files. Right. Okay. Because normally, what's going to happen with a relink, it's not just a relink in the traditional Final Cut 7 sense where you say, point it... Point yeah, the clip there, to that. Now go to it's there. really it's here's, different. Here's right? the way it is in Final Cut 10. Yeah. It's really relink then reimport. Because remember, uh, the clips okay. have to be okay. in the yeah, event library. Yeah. So it's relink then reimport. Yeah. yeah, so bring them, or, or it does both. It's going to bring it back in and connect to it Correct. there. Either yeah. way you want to look at like it. It's not like go over there. It's a two step okay. process. So yes. I'm going to click relink files. As long as you have that checkbox selected so it's, it's copying them in. Right. In fact, if, if oh, I. Oh, and they're there. The, Everything's back everything on. Everything there. Both in the event browser and uh, in, the t in the project. Everything's there. Wow. In fact, if you if you okay. did this, if you uh, if you did a right click or control click instead of reveal and finder, yeah. you'll notice now it essentially copied those files back into the event library. You're back. You're back into that event. Yeah, yeah it just copied. It's just copied there. It there. is right okay. there. It literally copied uh -huh. them into the event. But library. you don't have to do that, right? You don't. Okay. And we'll talk about that in a moment. Okay. okay. So let's look at another scenario for relinking. Okay. Um, let's say this happened. Um, let's say for whatever reason. You were working one day, and I'm gonna I'm gonna command click this hammerhead, command click this jellyfish, and then go down and command click this. And I'm just gonna delete them right out of the event library. I'm just gonna hit command delete. That's, that's what you did before, right? No, what I did is I went to the finder and deleted them. Oh, okay. Remember, I went to the finder. See, the, the clip. Can okay, become... right, right. You went to the finder, deleted them. Right, yes, and that happens did. all yes, the time. Yes, People delete files of the finder yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, you think or you're the, done with them, or yeah. they rename? But no. because I'm running out of disk space. Ah, I gotta get rid of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I threw that away. Right. Oh, right, when right. right. your face turns red, like the clip yep. itself. Yep. But the thing is, is that this is another scenario where you accidentally delete the actual event clip in the event library. Okay. And okay. you see I'm getting a warning that says, look, if you do that, there's media in use. Yeah. It's being used in other projects. You yeah. may not even have the project open, open that right. it's referring it to. Else, right. right. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK just so you can see this. Now, notice the clips, are dis they've disappeared in the event library. But the there. clips, in other words, here's the deal. I said this at the beginning. The instruction set about those clips are still there. They still exist. They still okay. exist. So they're gone completely from the event browser, but they still exist in your project to say, hey, there used to be something here. And each of these actually, each of these little red clips actually contains that database of information. It, exactly. Okay. And that's still there. It's still there. That's okay. the beauty of it. So all I really do is select these and go back up to file. And this time, it says relink project files. Project file. files. Right, Instead project. Of event files. Okay. Now, it does something interesting. We're, we're essentially going to walk through the same process. process. Look, there's the missing yep. original files. We're going to go to locate. Okay, and uh, let's see. I'm, I don't want to. Um, there's my backup there, so I'm going to go yes. to Hammerheads. I right? found now, all three. Now, would you go to your backup here, or would you go to the in the event library? Does it, does it, does it matter? 
Well, they wouldn't be in the event library because we deleted them. Oh, because we actually deleted them, right. so it would have taken them out of there. Yeah. Okay. So I, I just happen to have them okay. in another place, okay. assuming on another drive or what have you. By okay. the way, you should be backing up all your media anyway yep. uh, for this very yep. reason. And so what I'm going to do is click Choose. Okay. Now, I want to talk about this little checkbox down here. Okay. If I choose Relink, you just er we earlier stated that it has to re-import into the event right. library, then relink to it, right. or however you want to look at it. It's a two-step process. But sometimes you may not want to have that media copied in the event library. So right. if you uncheck this, what it does is it leaves the media in its original location and it makes aliases in the event library to those okay. clips. Alias where or they are. sim links or whatever. Sim links, sim, whatever. Yeah, sim, what is, exactly. Right. So the point okay. is. So you don't have to copy because that could be a big operation and it might be those event library might be somewhere that's full. What if you have a so thousand you, clips? Right. You may not want them so copied. You can uncheck that you and uncheck it won't it. do. Okay. Cool. Pretty nice. Huh? Cool. Pretty nice. Okay. Um, in fact, I should just leave it unchecked just to see what happens. <laughs> okay. So I go click relink files uh -huh. and look, everything comes back go. on. But more importantly, remember yes. those clips we in initially deleted out of the event, library? the event library? It had to. It, it added them back into the event library. Oh, it put them back in there, even though you connected the the them from the project. Right. It added them to the event library because everything in the in the project has to refer to something in the event. In the event has to. Okay. So it just brought them so back put in. in there. Right. Very cool. All right. One last scenario. This okay. is really cool. Um, here, here I have a, a little motion graphic. This was exported out of motion. And so it's, it's actually from our kinetic typography yes. tutorial. Yes. Very cool. Okay. And it's, it's a common scenario where, you know, you're working and the producer says, you know, we need to change the, the intro. In fact, let me back, let me back up to the, the actual project library. See, here I have two versions, right? One of them, the same intro graphic. Yeah. But it might be that uh, the producer says, you know, I'm gonna try a different intro. I have my graphic designer working on something else, but I don't want to get rid of the original one. I wanna have the, the, I want to have the project with the original graphic still there. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So, so you, want two, you want two projects, each with a different version of the opening. Exactly. Okay. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reopen this one, and I'm gonna select, I'm gonna select this, and I'm gonna go to uh, relink project files. So even though it's not offline, you can relink, you can relink it. to okay. it. Yes, You're relinking something offline. that's not offline. Right. Okay. So I'm going to choose all. See this because time nothing's missing. because nothing's missing. Yeah. But I still can locate another version of that. So what I'm going to do is 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 go into here, and uh, let's see here. Uh, motion connect type. I have. I want to. There's a notice. I have a pillow and I have a pink you one. Want. I'm making it easy. Okay. So, so it's a, yeah, different. File name. Different file name yep. altogether. Yep. But same duration, same, you know, essential yep. structure of the clip is the same. So click choose. Okay. Now notice the original file said kinetic type. I'm gonna zoom in this. Blue. Kinetic type blue, yeah. match types kinetic type okay. pink. Okay. Right? So what I'm gonna do is just click relink files. And now I have a pink version here. And it, it actually brought that in to the event library. You can see there's my pink. It brought it into the event library, and there's my blue. But more importantly, when I step out and look at the project library, yeah. I have two, two different versions. versions of the project. You know what's so cool about that? If you if you are rendering out, you know, like titles from Motion or After Effects or whatever, rather than needing to like delete it and stuff, you can just use the relink to basically swap the media out. Yep. To do that. Very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. So it's a real, I mean, this And that this, automatically adds it to the event as well? Oh, adds, yeah, the yeah, pink, there it is. Right the there. pink has been added to the event. Very, it's, very cool. It's really powerful. I mean, I, I it's, it was a much needed thing. And I, I personally think, I mean, more than multicam and, and uh, uh, green screen, that, those are cool, but this is fundamental stuff that had to be in there yeah, yeah, to, to yeah. have it be considered like yeah. a real... For, for really useful workflow. Exactly. That, I think. Cool. Steve, great. Thank exactly. you um, for more training. Be we good. have training at RippleTraining.com. Lots of training. Compositing, advanced editing, Final Cut Basic. I mean, we're, we're putting stuff up there every month now. So Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff going on. Great, Steve. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.